15-year-old smugglers from San Antonio lose control and vaulted over I-35. Texas teens baited by Mexican cartel. Yeah, vehicle 1050, did. it went over the overpass. Now, mind you, when you find out that there's a 15-year-old driving, here's my question. Was that a tactic? Was he, did he lose control and hit that ramp? Or was he hitting that ramp trying to pull a move to get out of there? By whoever's order, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it looks like, uh, it looks like it was a, um, it was intended for them to go up the hill, try, that hill trying to get away from the cops. It almost worked. That's the only reason I say that, because it almost worked. They didn't hit no barrier. They didn't stop dead. No, they went up and over. Yeah, vehicle 1050, did. it went over the overpass. Who else is in there? My friend! How, how many? Call me! It's just, just y'all two? Uh, and there's a, there's a guy that wouldn't... He told us to take us or he was gonna kill us. Shut down the one on the four. Shut down the one on the four. How Mexican cartels are targeting local teens. Monday at 10 on Cannes 5. So they pulled that shorty out. That shorty was like, yo, help me. And they're like, who's in there with you? He said, my friend. He said, who else? He said, and the guy that told us to drive or, or to take him or he would unalive them, right? Passed, you passed the hustle. You passed the business. It's not a business at that point. Yeah, vehicle 1050, did. it went over the You're a kidnapping pass. ring. Who else is in there? My friend! How, how many? Just, Call me! Just, it's just y'all two? Uh, and there's a, there's a guy that wouldn't... He told us to take us or he was gonna kill us. Shut down the one on the one. They dragged that boy. Ten big wads of cash, guns, and an easy Profit. Experts say that's the message Mexican drug cartels are sharing on social media to recruit teenagers into the world of human smuggling. But teens are quickly finding out the dangers of working with criminal organizations bring lifelong consequences. Here's Kins 5's Vanessa Croy with a special report. Fast, furious, and 15. That's the age of the accused human smuggling. DPS says led troopers on a high-speed chase in Frio County. DPS body cam video showing the dramatic moments. Do you have a hammer? Officers rushed to the scene. The 15-year-old driver from San Antonio arrested for human smuggling. Now, mind you, don't get it twisted. The 15-year-old could easily be a 15-year-old that went, applied for the position, was down, and just knew to put it on the older dude as soon as he got caught or... He's a kid that don't know nothing for nothing and got snatched and put in that situation. Either way, child abuse, either way, that kid don't know what he's getting himself into. He don't know what's going on. It's a wrap. Friend. Also charged, the passenger, DPS says, was just 12 years old. Put your hands out the window! DPS video showing the chaos happening on the southwest border over the last year. High-speed chases. Speeds of 116. Rollover crashes. And behind the wheel, teenagers. Well, when you're a teenager or when, you know, you have teenagers, they don't think nothing bad's going to happen. They're invincible. The trend now sparking a growing concern among law enforcement. Sure, That's hit for disaster. Narcotics. Craig Larrabee Narcotics. is a special agent a in charge of Homeland Security San Antonio. He says Mexican drug cartels are actively recruiting teens to smuggle migrants. We see that in smaller vehicles where you're seeing this recruitment of younger people to go use their passenger vehicles, their pickup trucks or everything, to go pick up uh, migrants and bring them uh, to a, de a different location. No, I was a driver. Last month, DPS says a 15-year-old girl was charged with human smuggling after leading troopers on a high-speed chase through Hidalgo County. Who's that? That's a young also Val right there the pushing, pushing weight across the border? It's crazy. Chase through Hidalgo County. Also charged, the girl's 14-year-old brother. Like, who was in the car? Some of them are, you know, 
maybe they don't even have their license or they do have the license they only had a short period of time and the next thing you know it could be a disaster what is the lure for these teens it's just money it's just money I mean you'll see the ads there's just you know make make a thousand dollars five thousand dollars for one drive many of these teens are coming from big cities like San Antonio Houston and Dallas and HSI tells us that the criminal organizations are luring the teens to the border using social media you put it out there and it's shared so many times that you could strike out 99% of it. See that? So they're promoting to these kids on social media, right? They're promoting cartel life to them. They're basically telling them to come to the job fair. I'm promoting how this life will fuck you up, destroy you and everybody you love, and people are mad at me. Fuck you sympathizers. <laughs> That's how I feel you sympathizers you don't care about your own children or you probably only care about your own children as long as everybody else is burns fuck out of here man time all you need is that one percent of the time and while the teens may think they're signing up for a big payout it may be easy money for a short term but your long-term consequences you know you're 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 bound to get caught. Larrabee says getting caught isn't the only danger the teens are facing. They're now entering into an agreement with a transnational criminal organization that may have very bad ties. They don't care about you. Once you're in, it's not easy to get out. Once you're in, they'll throw you to the sharks. They'll shoot you in the legs to get past you in a foot race. You're going to be placed under arrest for smuggling a person. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Reporting for Kins 5, Vanessa Croy, Eagle Pass, Texas. So they're promoting this shit to these kids to try to get these kids employed over here. You know what I'm saying? To put these kids down on the team. But they're mad when I sit here and say this leads you to a life of nothingness. Your life is worth nothing. You're a paper plate. You fly off the table in the wind. They pick you up and throw you in the trash. Period. Where's the accountability for the commenters that are like, yeah, cartel, this one, that one. Puro this, puro that. It's puro death defiling your own people. Oh, you're an old head, talk shit, you don't know nothing. You ain't never seen the streets. You ain't never survived the streets. You don't know nothing about nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, dog. It don't take away from, nothing takes away from the fact that these kids are victims. This shit will victimize your whole family, your whole lifestyle. You'll never be the top guy. You'll be chum. <laughs> And they mad at me. How dare you say that? El Jefe would have skinned you alive. Whatever. They're oppressing a people. Same way Pablo Escobar oppressed Colombia. Oppressing their own people, right? So miss me with the bullshit. I'm straight.